So I'm here with Colin from Electric Pedals. Colin, will you please explain for us why am I pedaling on this bike and I'm not going anywhere? Well, Naomi, we've got four extremely fit cyclists here who are pedaling for an impossible task of trying to boil that kettle of water. There's a tiny amount of water in there that currently all the energy from the bikes is flowing into and it's heating up steadily. Excellent, so how is the energy coming from a bike to the kettle? Well, each bike has a DC generator. That kettle is a low voltage kettle, so we're all generating about 25 volts and about 10 amps of current, which is heating the resistor in the kettle. I see, so how are you measuring how much is going up or down? Okay, we've got two measurements. We've got one which measures real time watts. The harder you work, the more that dial spins round. It's all based on work. And then we've got a real time temperature gauge with a little sensor in the kettle, Arduino powered, which is by our programmable LEDs, is giving us a real time temperature. How long has this technology been around? Um, human powered technology has been around since probably after the First World War. I mean, they used to use it in the trenches to power radio batteries. So it's a pretty old technology, to be honest. I mean, since probably the first motors were, generate, were developed, people have been using human energy to, to, for all sorts of uh, applications. So do you think it's possible that people can actually create their own electricity at home using bikes like this anytime soon? Well, you definitely could. I mean, you can't. I mean, you're generating, you're pedaling now, and you're generating probably about 50 watts of power. Now, it's probably to run your home, you would need about another 79 people. Which short answer, yeah, maybe for a laptop or something, but to, impact, to power the entire home, very unlikely. Not We're just not efficient enough as enough. generators. Superhumans, maybe, Indeed, but as we yeah. are. Maybe a few Chris Hoys. Oh, I've got to stop. Thank you so much for talking to us, Colin.